back to class and back to kickabouts with friends, but without a COVID vaccine. A strong case, says the government, not enough evidence, say the scientists. These young footballers have their own view. I feel like it's good to get vaccinated so like we keep like the environment safe and the public safe. Well, I think it's a really good idea because it's not just us, like people can go back to work and school will be back in like full function. Despite that, the government's advisers decided the benefits for 12 to 15 year olds are too marginal for approval on medical grounds alone. You have the harms which are not zero, but they're very low. And then you also have the chance of a risk, a, a rare adverse event. And that's a type two types of heart conditions, myocarditis and another associated condition. Both are caused by inflammation to the heart. But in countries already vaccinating over 12s like the US, that appears to be extremely rare. Cases in double vaccinated American boys are around 66 per million. In girls, even rarer, at nine per million. Even so, the JCVI says it wants three months more data before it can rule out long-term risks. But for 200,000 children more vulnerable to COVID, including those with certain lung, kidney and liver diseases and type 1 diabetes, like 14-year-old Poppy, they say the benefits of jabs do outweigh the risk. I would definitely want to get the vaccine because it would provide me with a lot more security knowing that I wouldn't get as sick with COVID. Morning, guys. Here we come. In Scotland, COVID cases have doubled in a week after schools went back in August. Ministers fear the same for the rest of the UK and yet more disruption to education. They want the chief medical officers of all four nations to look at that big picture before they make their final decision. Jaranpreet Khera, ITV News.